everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Shuffle for the PC Part 2. Today, we're gonna find out who this lovely anime girl is. Here we go. A girl is sitting on the swing. Her silky blue hair is reaching down to her waist. She has a skinny body and a small head. She's not tall at all, but her limbs are long. She is a beautiful girl who takes my breath away. Just like the beautiful voice coming from her lips. A devil? She has those unique long ears, just like the two other people I encountered today. Those ears are the proof that they are not human. I could tell from her sad atmosphere that she is one of the devils. I put the plastic bags down and close my eyes to listen to her voice. My body is surrounded by her melody, and I feel strange and I feel strange feeling as if it is melting inside of my cell. The song itself seems alive with warmth. She suddenly stops singing. As I open my eyes, the girl is staring at me with embarrassment. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I scare you? I bow at her as I realize that I interrupted her singing. She seems surprised, but she quickly smiles at me. Her speaking voice is as pure and beautiful as her song. My face turns red just by listening to her voice. I scratch my cheek and look away from her. I take a few steps closer toward her. You're a good singer. I'm ashamed of the fact that this is all I can say to her, but I can't help it. My respect towards Itsuki increases at times like this. She answers in a humble way. For some reason, I see sadness in her smile. Ah, don't be. You got a lovely voice. She has red upward eyes and slightly red cheeks. Her long hair is done up with a black bow. I can't get my eyes off her pretty face. Every part of her is fitting like a puzzle, and completes her perfect look. She quietly gets off the swing with a sad face. Oh, I'm sorry for interrupting you. She smiles softly again. She knows my name too? Eh? I'm looking forward to see you too. I would like to hear your song again. She leaves the park with her beautiful smile. I sigh deeply as she disappears from my view. What a day. I met so many people from different walks of life. The flirty guy I met earlier and the girl I just met. I usually don't talk with many devils outside of the academy. I also spoke with the god girl too. I smiled at myself and realized something. Did I tell them my name? Yeah. I don't recall us telling telling them our name. How come they knew my name? I look toward the direction she left, but she is no longer there. Do they go to the academy? If they knew my name, that means I've introduced myself to them in the past. I don't think I'd forget beautiful girls like that, though. Well, if they are my acquaintance, I guess I'll see them somewhere again. There's no point for me to think hard about this issue. They both mentioned that we'll be seeing each other again in the future. I'm sure I'll bump into them sooner or later. 
I pick up the grocery bags and walk out from the park. It's almost the rainy season. A long and gloomy rain season is coming. Yeah, the past few days over here had non-stop rain. <laughs> However, if I wait patiently, hot, sunny days will arrive. Summertime is almost there. It's a season with special hope and excitement. The magical season is getting close. There's magic? Did we just go back to the beginning? What's going on here? I is confused. Let's let the title sequence play out here again. Maybe something different will happen, I don't know. Nice music here. I think this is just like the lead into the actual game, so I think we were just doing the uh, beginning. Lysanthus. She's actually called Sia for short in the anime. And this lovely girl is Noreen. And Kaide, this is the girl we're going to pursue. Asa. And Primula. Primula is another one of my favorites. Kaide and Primula are my two favorite girls in this anime. Although C is pretty cool too. Oh, Primula. So cute. Her little Nico plushie. Yeah, I'm actually contemplating maybe covering all five girls, but I'm not sure yet. Right now, I'm just focused on doing Kaide, and then maybe Primula will be next. Get my two favorites done. Really lovely scenery here. Now I think we're about to leap into the heart of the game now. Now that we're out through the, now that we got the uh, beginning done here. Yep, the next day is Monday. Uh, a familiar voice is calling me. It's a soft voice that I hear every morning. In my vague mind, I slowly realize that the time to wake up is here again. <laughs> She's so cute. Uh, I open my eyes gradually while battling the sleepiness. It's Kaide! <laughs> the girl we're going to pursue. I see a pretty girl with a big smile on her face. Leave the blanket, I'm cold! She let go of my blanket while talking to me. Uh, I don't care if you pull it off, but just let me sleep a little bit more. I was up late last night studying for the English test I have today. No, I was trying to study, but I didn't make it to my desk. The girl smiles to my reply. <laughs> sounds yummy. Hmm, that sounds very tempting. She smiles at me while watching my reaction. What can I do? Eating is as crucial as sleeping. My appetite knocks out the sleepiness in 28 seconds of the first round. I make my decision and get out of the bed. Thank you. 
She leaves my clothes by my pillows with a big smile. You are reading my mind, aren't you, Kaide? Kaede Fuyo. She's been my friend since childhood, and we are the same age. Our fathers were good friends, and the Shukimi and Fuyu families are very close. I've been living with her family ever since my parents passed away eight years ago. Kaede lost her mother in the same accident that took my parents' lives. She's been doing the chores in this house since then. I should be helping with the chores as a freeloader in this house, but she won't let me help at all. I've tried to help forcefully in the past, but... Yeah. More on that later. I almost made her cry. I know it's a lot faster for her to take care of things than using my help. Anyway, among my associates, she's the one I've known for the longest time in my life. We've been together for such a long time. Will do. Alright. She leaves the room after smiling at my sleepy face. How long is your dad's business trip this time? I heard he went overseas. He thinks it's okay to leave the young girl and boy alone like this? You think he trusts me? He told me, good luck, you have my permission when he was leaving. I think he should be more concerned about his daughter's future. There are no boys around you because I'm living with you. It'd be so easy for you to get a boyfriend if you wanted to. Huh? You have a point. She starts walking faster as if she's hiding her flushed face. I follow her. Then I stop in front of the house next to ours. It looks like someone moved into both of the houses, houses neighboring ours. The house on the right side of our place has a genuine Japanese structure. On the other hand, the house on the left side is a modern European style house. They were ordinary families, families living next to us in the past, but they all disappeared with their houses one day. Four houses on both sides, a total of eight houses disappeared suddenly. I don't know why, but they just vanished into nowhere. When I got back from school one day, those houses were gone. Then the next day, these new houses were built in those spots where I got back when I got back from school. Both houses are, are unimaginably huge. They look like they could appear in a mystery movie or something. The whole thing was just like magic. In fact, kids around here call those houses the magic houses. <laughs> I don't know. I think they should be coming to us. I guess they'll show up as soon as they are settled. I start walking again. It takes about 15 minutes to walk from the house to the academy. I think we're at a pretty fortunate location compared to the other students. We walk down the street and hurry to head toward the school. The number of students increases as we get closer to the gate. Humans, gods, and devils. Students from different strains go into the academy wearing the same uniform. National Verbena Academy. The school was established five years ago, and everything from the history to the building is new at this academy. The world changed dramatically after what happened ten years ago. This academy was established in order to adapt to the changes in the world. The opening... That's what people call the incident that happened 10 years ago. The doors to the different worlds opened in this human world. 
The door to the world of gods and the door to the world of devils suddenly opened. That's when the different strains started living in this world. They used their magical powers like it's nothing, and showed the world that this is not a dream. Until they appeared. Angels and devils only existed in fairy tales or religion. Their sudden arrival has changed the world dramatically in only a few years. The gods and the devils quickly migrated to this world, and now it's no longer rare to see them around here. Although humans can't use any magic, alchemy has developed rapidly. We were forced to establish a new law along with that, and we are now living in a society nobody could have foreseen. This academy was made in order to adapt to this unanticipated future. This is the place where humans, gods, and devils learn together. We study about magic and the proper way of controlling it in this school. There are similar schools like this in other areas, but this academy is the role model to all of them. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel a strong pressure on my back, but I manage to support myself from falling. I know who did this. There's only one person around me who would do something like this to me. I hold my pain and look back. Asa, senpai! Yeah, she always smacks Rin in the back in the anime. She's there with nonchalant, with nonchalant look, as I expected. I see her familiar face full of energy. Are you jealous or something? <laughs> Dot dot, mother of a dot. Yeah, it's hard to argue that. I think I'm far more sensitive than you are, Asa Senpai. I'm trying to get in shape. She's sounding like Emmy. <laughs> she winks at us and tries to run away from us. But she comes back as if she forgot something. She takes my arm and holds on tightly. Oh god. I feel her big breasts on my arm. Uh, thanks. Asa Senpai smiles at me. She lets go of my arm and departs the scene for good. Wow, that felt... That felt pretty good. Asa Shigur. She's a year higher than us, and we've known her since middle school. Kaide was a member of the cooking club in the middle school, and that's where she met Asa Senpai. Then I met her through Kaide, and we've been ba bad friends ever since. <laughs> she is a very nice girl who is generous and cooks well, but... I think she has too much energy. I always get exhausted after talking with her. I can't believe that she is the leader of the cooking club. She deserves to be in some kind of sports team. Kaede smiles wryly. I bet she was approached by the sports team several times. Are you joining the cooking club? I know they want you. And what would that be? I can't say anything back at her because she replies back to me with an innocent smile. I know what she means by important. I guess I have no right to deny her opinion. We end our conversation and rush into the school building. Get off of me! I don't swing that way! Too bad, it's me. Itsuki welcomes with his height, tight hug as usual. It's extremely unpleasant, but it's better than having him hug Kaide. And with that being said, folks, I'm going to cut it off here because my pizza has arrived. So stay tuned for Let's Play Shuffle Part 3, which will be coming up soon. 
Anyway, see you then, peoples.